Hey, royalty. Hey, empress. Hey, empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. And I hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed, protected week. May it be divinely guided by Father God. I love y'all so much. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me. Guide me and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. So I'm speaking to people that, ooh, you guys are fertile. Like male or female, whatever you touch turns to gold. Literally. I don't know if you guys are farmers, are, are gardening at this time, but Father God, your angels and your ancestors are looking down on you guys. Okay, literally. It's nothing but blessings where you are. It's a lot of favor where you are. This is also a partnership coming together where you are. Wow, look at this. There are, your seeds are sprouting at this time. There's also getting ready to be like a pop-up of different people in your life. I don't mean to even say it this way. The number two could be significant or the number three or the number 23 or 32. But I'm seeing and I'm only seeing that because there's three people down here and they're coming out of eggs. So it's like you guys are hatching. I feel like you're getting ready to meet your soul tribe, your soul family, people that are truly connected with you. Yeah, I cannot make it up. <laughs> you're going to be feeling a renewal. And it's like Father God is going to be guiding you towards the people that are also in this same energy like you. You're getting ready to come to life, literally. There's things that you are doing, things that you are manifesting that you are bringing to life in a good way, in a positive way. Okay, this is an idea, this is a dream, this is a business plan that you were given, this is an aspiration that you wanna work on, and it's going to be fulfilling. You're gonna get it, you're gonna achieve it. Okay, let's jump straight into the tarot. Yeah, look right behind that. And it's because of your strength and your, will, your willpower, Gemini. This is a Leo card. 44 could be significant, also 29. The number eight could be significant or the number 11 as well. You are so strong and so wise. Oh, man, you're so gifted. And it's like you're able to move within different situations so well. And you still stay grounded in your energy. Like, it doesn't matter what the world tries to throw at you. You always stay grounded in your right energy. You always stay grounded. You're always staying in tune with, with Father God. Oh, my goodness. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Gemini. Let's see. Gemini, get yeah. you stand on your ground with the seven of wands. You're not one to play with at this time. You could really be like defending yourself. You know what you're working on. You know what's coming towards you. Okay, yeah. This is Earth energy. Virgo is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is somebody that's in there in the place a lot. Tell me more. Let's see. What's the message here? Oh Lord, somebody here is manifesting like you to go through some type of hardship so that they can reach out to you or you could reach out to them. This is somebody that you were in a connection with or situation or partnership. Yeah, you're very intuitive. It could even be a water sign. Okay, what's the five of pentacles? <clears throat> you're very close to your feelings and your emotions at this time. Yeah, you guys can be talking to or connected to someone who was a boss, a CEO, in a place of power. Okay, they could even be a father figure or married. This person is watching you. They're watching you and they see how strong you are. Didn't I just say that's the strength card? Literally, you guys are so strong and powerful. And because of that, it's like you guys are making your way forward. You were able to overcome some type of trial or tribulation that another person was not able to. Okay, they thought that it was going to like put you at a place of losing everything or losing it all or somebody is dark. Yeah, Father God exposed you expose the truth to you with the sun. Leo energy is here. Aries is here. Taurus is here. Cancer is here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of positive changes moving forward. 
Like, I don't know if you guys are doing something to your car, you guys could be getting a new car, or you guys are just literally game planning in regards to what your next steps are going to be with the chariot. What's the page of pentacles? This person wanted to fight with you, argue with you, and they were hopeful that you were going to be in competition or some type of drama or conflict so that you could reach out to them with the five of wands. Somebody here, like literally you could also have drama at your job. There could be people trying to fight you at your job too, Gemini. Because you're very skilled at something that you do and you make it look easy. With the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles, you make something look like a breeze. Like you make something like you could be new at something, you could have just started something, or you just make something look very, very easy compared to people that could be like seniors, people that are like, that have been doing this for a long time. It doesn't matter what it is, whatever career or whatever, whatever job that you are in, it's some type of drama around you starting doing something, being very good at it with the page of pentacles and the five of wands. It has to do with your work, your money, your security, your stability. Yeah, there you go, Gemini. Like literally with the king of swords, you know what's going on. Okay, it's like people could be trying to outsmart you in different ways, but you are not one to be outsmarted. You are very intelligent. But the King of Swords, male or female, like you have a very strong presence. When you walk in, people know that you mean business. You're no nonsense. You're going to come with the truth. You're going to come with intellect. You're going to come with authenticity. Okay, and that's very fearful to people that don't work out of that energy, that work out of like fake, <laughs> that are fake or frauds. They don't like that. Yeah. And it's like you're taking your time in regards to pushing forward or, you know, taking certain steps even guys in regards to certain people. I see you like really being like defensive. Yeah. Because there's somebody around you. It could even be a water sign or an Aquarius. They are really deceptive. With the seven of swords, I do not like that card. It could definitely be an Aquarius. Okay, with the fool that you need to like really be mindful of this could be someone that's at work or this could be someone that you were connected to tell me about this emperor this person is waiting on an opportunity to try to bring balance with you because they see you have favor in your life so there could be different people you could have gotten out of the, out of a relationship with someone that wanted to either get you pregnant they could be a father they want to control or power over you dominance this person is in a place of lack away from you. It gave me coldness or distance in the connection at this time. And this person is watching how happy you are, how you're planting the right seeds with the seven of pentacles, how it's growing, how father God is covering you with his light. Okay. You have happiness. You have abundance that's coming in. And this is in different aspects. This is like feeling emotionally fulfilled in regards to something that you are taking action on. This is you waking up and just being grateful for life. Okay. When I say abundance, I mean, everybody's like abundance. Abundance is in it, it, it resonates in different aspects, okay? This could be in regards to your money, your career, you just feeling fulfilled, you getting the house that you want, you getting good news that comes in, okay? Or something just working out for you in a very miraculous way and you know it's Father God, okay? The sun is around you. What's this page of cups and seven of swords? Somebody here is like, they're gonna try to come in acting very like innocent like, but this is someone that you, yeah, you need to leave alone. You need to walk away from with the eight of cups. This could even be a Taurus. You could have gotten some type of direction or you're getting direction from like higher counsel, okay? Or this could be like you like literally speaking to Father God and you getting direction on leaving something alone with the Eight of Cups, walking away. Somebody here could also be leaving a, a marriage or some type of higher level of like position. Somebody here could also be pushed to leave. Like this person could have also tried to like sabotage you in, in different ways. You could be in a high place of power or in society or in regards to your career. And somebody here was trying to put you in a situation where you were forced to leave it, okay? But it's like you have a lot of protection, heavenly protection. Yeah, I can't make it up. Everything is fine. Everything is going to work out for your highest good. It doesn't matter what the devil is trying to do or it doesn't matter what this enemy is trying to do. God is going to flip it for positive. God is going to make it for good for you. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Yeah. You're listening for your intuition. This is your energy with the Queen of Cups. You could have water in your birth chart, or you're just tapping very, very. You're you're really embracing your emotions and your feelings at this time, and you're letting it flow. You're letting it guide you. You are being divinely guided with the Six of Swords. You are, you are. You're being guided away from some type of drama, conflict, discord, something that was very turbulent in your life, and it even could have like emotionally pushed you to the ringer. 
Okay, you have to like step into your confidence, your strength, understand yourself, understand what you bring. Yeah, and it's making somebody stressed out about you, Gemini. <laughs> it's making somebody really stressed out about what lovers you're attracting. Okay, who you're getting ready to come in contact with with the lovers card because you're attracting in love. You're attracting in soulmates. You're attracting in people. This is platonic. This is also love, like uh, intimacy, love, partners. It's going to be your choice in regards to who aligns with you, who better suits you in different ways. That is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. You're not only just attracting in love, like in regards to like, you know, your, your a relationship. You attracting in like work partners. You know, you're attracting in your soul family. You're attracting the people that are aligned with you, that are on that are on their same journey and path towards their mission, towards Father God as well. Okay, towards towards doing Father God's will and order in the world, just like you. Okay, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. It's all about you listening to your intuition because you are so tapped in your soul. Your soul spiritually gets it. Okay, it's like you are you are leveling up in different ways and it's like something that could have pushed you it could have been really traumatic but that everything is fine if somebody here did not realize they didn't realize how strong how confident you really are okay how you really listen to your intuition how you really are divinely guided how you really are tapped in so okay somebody here could also gotten a reading done or you could be getting a reading done or you could be a reader you could just be someone that listens like your obedience up above with the with the high priestess and you have hidden knowledge you hold knowledge this is really burdening somebody with the Ten of Wands. It's really putting pressure that you listen. And your intuition is guiding you to the truth, giving you the truth, giving you the clarity that you need to, uh, to leave things that just don't align with you. Okay? Literally. This is beautiful energy. Yeah. And it's something about somebody here wanting you to be defenseless. Okay? Somebody here didn't realize. Like, they, they, they thought that you didn't have any type of backup or you didn't have any type of protection with the Seven of Wands, but you do. Your intuition is all that you need. Somebody here was trying to make very hasty decisions towards you, especially sexual based. They feel like they need to connect with you. Or they feel like the only way they can connect with you is with sex. With the, mm -mm, it's a no. Yeah, you're, this ain't your person. This ain't your person. And if this is a man, he is very much in his feminine energy. Very much so. With the Queen of Swords in the reverse, this person is bitter, vengeful, unhealed. Okay. And, and my deck is in the upright, y'all. Okay. Like, I cannot make it up. My deck is in the upright. Like, with the empress, somebody is bitter, unhealed. This could even be a woman. This could be like, y'all could have different people in y'all energy, for real. There could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a Scorpio. Or these could just be the sign of Virgo. Pisces is here. Okay, Capricorn too. Somebody is obsessed because you are the Empress and they are bitter about it. I really want to see why this is in the reverse. <laughs> and you guys are with somebody who you thought was your person and they were not. I thought the King of Swords is out and it is. This lets me know karmic relationship. When one when one energy um is in the reverse and the other is in the upright, it lets me know. Um, and also let's you know, you guys know who I read it, it's karmic. It's 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 never it's a relationship that was a lesson and it's Mm -mm. You guys are not on the same energy field, on the same vibration. It is, it's a no, okay? It's a no. While you are, you know, really making head over heart, being logical, okay? Trusting yourself, this person is lacking. They're not listening to their intuition. They're not thinking clearly. They're not even using common sense. Somebody is just out for revenge. They're in a very hateful energy with the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And this person knows that you have money coming in wealth. Because you are this empress energy, okay? You're about to get what you want. This is a lot of fulfillment coming in. This is, ooh. This is, didn't I say y'all was fertile? Okay, the empress is fertile. That was the first card out, literally, with God, with gentle gardener. You guys have a very kind, gentle energy aura, okay? You guys can create, you guys can also create, like, a very positive or peaceful atmosphere around you, okay? Literally. It's something about this person being very vindictive with the queen. Of, tell me about this queen of swords. We're going to end this up. This person is regretful that what they did did not work. It, it didn't It didn't get them the result that they thought it was going to do. They were manifesting, ambushing you with the knight of swords. Okay. And now they, whatever they thought they was going to do, they, your spirit guide said you're, you're protected. Look, look, look how. Like, this person usually is like intimidation, but I'm picking up on energy like, come, come, try me. 
Let me try me. Like your, <laughs> your angels and your ancestors had you on go mode, had you protected. So somebody here is going in the opposite direction. It's, it's, your energy is very, um, it's making this person flee, okay? And it's, it's pissing them off that they can't do what they want to do to you. This person's heartbroken that you stand on your own, okay? And things are truly over with the Ten of Swords. It's truly like a wrap-up. This person truly did, you know, too much, okay? They, they, they did too much. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.